back to do my fifth video. This one is on fatigue um, and multiple sclerosis. So um, <clears throat> I know almost half of everyone with MS ends up with issues because of fatigue. Um, it is not just like your normal fatigue. So to put it into a perspective that non-MSers can understand, um, it would be like um, you've all had a day where you've you've let's say you 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 had a long night. You only got an hour, two hours of sleep before you had a long shift at work the next day. So you you went to work that next day exhausted. Um, by that next night, you get home, you take care of your kids, um, do your family stuff, um, you know whatever it is. By the time you actually lay down in bed, that time that you're actually getting in bed, that feeling that you have, that exhaustion and um, uh, irritability and just um, just feeling like you don't even want to lift your legs or lift your arms to do anything at all. That is what our fatigue feels like. Um, that is what we feel like when we wake up in the morning. That is how our day begins, is that feeling like that. Um, again, it's, it's com another, another comparison that you might understand would be um, if you've ever taken a trip to an amusement park um, and stayed there from sun up to sundown. Uh, walking all day long, riding all the rides, you know, doing everything all day long, and that feeling at the very end of the day when you're just absolutely 100% exhausted, thoroughly exhausted, it, it's like that. It's that kind of exhaustion. Um, it's not your normal, I'm tired. Uh, I've been around people where I'll say that I'm tired, or I'm sorry, I'll say that I'm fatigued, and they will say, well, I'm tired too. And it's like, no, no, you're, you're not, you're, I'm, I'm sorry, I have sympathy for you, I do, I really feel bad that you're tired, I do, I'm a, I'm a kind-hearted person, but at the same time, when I'm saying that I'm fatigued, it is not just, oh, I'm tired, it is not, oh, I just need to get some sleep, it is I, my body aches because I'm so tired, every task that I need to complete is like running a race, um, taking a shower hurts because it's so exhausting I'm mean, everything um, brushing your teeth I mean like making dinner for your children just all the things that people take for granted it's it's those things for us are so hard to do when we're feeling that fatigued and it's it's a hard thing to live your life um, it's, it's a hard way to live your life um, you know we we wonder we we wish we look at our friends and our other people and around us and see how they just get up and, and complete daily tasks every day and and for many of us, we look back and we remember when that was our life, when we were able to do those things. And it's depressing and it's it's frustrating because, you know, we, we get enough sleep, we take our medications, we eat right, I don't, but, you know, some of us do. Um, and we still don't feel any energy at all and nothing. I mean, the fatigue is out of this world. I cannot even put it into like I said, the only way I can describe it is the way that I did with, you know, going to work and the end of the day with no sleep, that kind of thing. I mean, it's just, it's absolutely horrible and there's nothing we can do. So just be patient with us if, you know, understand that we want to be able to do the things that you want us to do. It's just that we, our bodies can't do it. We just, we can't, we can only, you can only will yourself so much. There's a certain point where science takes over and we just cannot will ourselves to do more than what we're able to do so just be patient with us understand that you know this is our life um and this is the life with ms and um just try to be a little understanding and you know if there's something that hasn't been done or that we were supposed to do just don't be upset with us because know that we tried we we want to do it we do we 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 are so jealous of the fact that everyone else can just get up and get things done, but we, we just can't. So we have to accept the life that we're given. And m my point of these videos is to help other people in our lives understand this life that we've been given. Um, that is why I make these, is for people without MS. I make these so that people without MS can understand people with MS. I want this to be just as talked about as breast cancer, as I said before in one of my videos. Um, on that note, please wear orange on MS. Oh, orange on orange on Mondays for MS awareness. Um, like you wear pink for breast cancer, 
Orange is our color, and orange is what we're doing on Mondays to create awareness. Um, this is what we've been doing for a while in one of my groups. Um, we are stronger with each other. Um, that is one a thing, but it's it's become a big thing. And so we'd like everyone to do that, to wear orange on Mondays for MS awareness and share that, pass that word on so that people will start to become um, aware of what that means when someone's wearing orange on a Monday. Um, also, if you want to get caught up on any of my other videos to see them and you haven't saw them, I have a Facebook page called MS Awareness Videos. Um, my videos are on there, and I'm going to continue making these. So please share them. Just get the word out as much as you can so that people can understand what this disease does to us, what these symptoms do to us, and um, overall create awareness and understanding. So I appreciate you guys watching these and sharing them and all the kind messages and and all that that I've gotten. It really means a lot to me. So um, just keep sharing them and keep supporting me if you can. Thanks.